is Colin Lettweiler, and welcome to the KPM Analytics Instrument Video Library. Today we will be going over the S-Dematic for our Chopin product line. In order to run your unit, you will first need to turn it on. The power button is located on the rear of the device next to the power cable. All you need to do is switch the device on and it will be ready to run. After the device is powered on, you will have a few items that come with the unit in order to run a test. You will have the rinsing bowl, the reaction bowl, the sodium thiosulfate sulfate dropper, flour spoon, and distilled water sprayer. In order to create the solution for the estimatic, you will need two chemicals, flour, and distilled water. The chemicals are 1.5 grams of citric acid, 3 grams of potassium iodide, and 1 gram of flour, along with 120 milliliters of distilled water. In order to prepare the solution, you will first take 120 milliliters of distilled water and pour it into the reaction glass. You will then take the 1.5 grams of citric acid and pour that in next, and the 3 grams of potassium iodide go in after that. When all of that is into the unit, all you need to do is put one drop of the sodium thiosulfate into the reaction bowl, and that's it. In order to start a test, you're going to weigh out one gram of flour onto the flour spoon, and you're going to place the reaction bowl with all your chemicals underneath the device. After your flour is weighed, you will carefully take the flour spoon and insert it directly under the screen into the metal slot. At this point, all you need to do is press test on the screen, enter in the flour weight. It is one gram of flour plus or minus 0 0.01 grams. Since we were at one gram, we would leave it. You will have a hydration basis and you'll have a protein value of the flour. Once all that information is put in, all you have to do next is press test and the device will start up. After your machine has started, it will heat to 35 degrees Celsius before the countdown starts. After it has reached its temperature, it will walk through all six steps of measuring the starch damage throughout the flour. After your test has stopped, you're going to lift up and you're going to remove the reaction bowl. You're going to then pull the clean off the side, lower this down, and you're going to use distilled water and spray off the probes for any of the sodium thiosulfate that still remains. After it is thoroughly cleaned off, you can either leave it down to rest or you can remove the solution and use a paper towel to wipe off the back plastic. You want to make sure that you are not in contact with the glass probe or the heating element as it may still be hot. After you are finished with the cleaning procedure, all that's left to do is replace the reaction bowl filled with distilled water only underneath and close the unit. That is the resting place for the bowl, and that is the way that the unit should be placed after all tests are completed. We hope this presentation was useful. For more information on our products, please visit us at www.kpmanalytics.com. Thank you, and have a great day.